In this video, we're going to be investigating the behavior of a rational function. The rational function we're going to be looking at is 1 over x squared. Now, before we begin looking at our end behavior, if we look at our graph, our equation, 1 over x squared, we know from the definition of the function the following observations. We know that the domain is all real numbers except for 0. We know that it's an even function, so it's going to be symmetric to the y-axis. And we know that the values of f of x are positive over the domain of the function f. So let's take a look. And I've already got our equation, our function graphed here. And if you didn't, you would take your graphing utility and you'd plug in that equation and get your graph. So as x approaches negative infinity, that means that we're going to be moving this direction as x approaches negative infinity, okay? And we want to know what is happening to our function right here. What happens to those values? And we can see that we go from a really high number and we get lower and lower and lower and get really, really close to the number zero. So we approach the number zero. Well, what happens as we approach zero from the left? What does that mean? To approach zero from the left, that means that I'm going to be looking in towards zero. I'm coming from this left-hand side. So what happens to my function now? And we'll see that we're going from some lower numbers here, some really small values here, right, numbers that are really, really close to zero, and we see that we are moving up, and we're getting higher and higher and higher. So those values are going higher with each movement. Let's draw it this way. It might be a little bit easier to see. So those values, those y values, are getting higher and higher and higher. So we're actually approaching infinity as we look at 0 from the left. Now, as we look at 0 from the right, what that's going to mean right, is that we're looking in this direction. So we're looking towards 0 from the right-hand side. And in this case, this is 0 right here, right? Because that's where 0 is on our x-axis. And we want to know what is happening to our y values here. Well, the same type of a thing. We can see that we have some really low values right, some really low values, but the, as we're going, they increase each time, and they're getting higher and higher and higher, and so we see that we're approaching this infinity. And then lastly, when we approach infinity, so that means as we're going towards infinity, what is our function doing? And we can see that as we move from left to right, that our function is going from these higher values, and they're getting lower and lower and lower. So it's all about which direction you're looking. So here we're getting closer and closer and closer to zero again. So when I'm looking as x approaches infinity, I'm saying as I'm looking to the right from zero, what is happening? Are my numbers getting bigger or are my numbers getting smaller? And what number are they approaching? And that's how we look at what these statements were are saying to us.